Hello guys, Ping Yao here. Welcome to episode number six of, no, episode number seven of New Falmouth. This is going to be a bit of a dramatic episode for me in more ways than one. Um, first of all, we are building on the other side of the river, finally. It's been a long time coming, but I've decided that I would start to build on this area of the of the this area of the city because it is going to be where the main part of the city will be it will be the main downtown residential area it'll have an old town area to it as well as all the suburbs and everything else so New Falmouth itself predominantly is on this side of the river and up until today I hadn't been working on this part at, at all I've been concentrating just focusing on the other side of the river which is where the oil depot and the power plant is um, and also building some of those bridges In previous episodes I built the railway bridge here and also the the road bridge the road swing bridge so I thought episode 7 was about time I should really start to work on the main part of the city on this side of the river um, sometimes when you've got a big blank area like this you you can almost um, it gets a bit daunting as to almost you don't want to start it some for some reason you almost feel a little bit um, nervous about approaching a big empty area like this and also knowing that it's going to be the um, where the main part of the city is um, it's uh, it can be a bit daunting at first, but the best thing to do is just start working a little area like what I'm doing here, um, and you just ex start expanding out gradually, sort of expanding the city and sort of working out in your head how you're going to uh, how you're going to do it. Now, the other reason this episode is a bit of a drama for me is because this very nearly wasn't an episode, or rather, this very nearly wasn't. A continuation of New Falmouth because the last three days I've had big problems with the game. Um, I could not load the city at all; it just wouldn't wouldn't open. Um, I've actually now got it running. I've got the city loaded, and I've probably got about half the mods running. I've worked out that I think the problem was the 81 tiles mod, and in fact. Jaquel on Twitter, Jaquel mentioned that that might be one of the problems why the city wasn't loaded. So I did actually deactivate that mod. Initially, that didn't seem to make any difference. Um, but when I took all the mods off, the city loaded. Obviously, it looked horrible because just looked a complete mess. And I've been gradually reactivating and testing the city with the mods that I'm now running. So I've got most of the main ones operating, and there's still about half that aren't running yet because I'm just sort of seeing how the city works at this stage. Um, so tentatively, I'm I'm hoping that I can salvage the city and I can continue to work on it. So I recorded these episode this this video obviously before I had the problem. Um, and I was kind of thinking uh, maybe two days ago that probably won't bother releasing this you know if I can't get the city working but now I've got it kind of working then I think I'm safe to to, to release it and I can you know carry on with the city which would have been a for me it would have been a really just a you know bit of a disaster because it's been something I've been working on for a couple of months now and the amount of time you spend doing this sort of work um, you know it's just a complete waste if you can't carry on or you know complete it so I'm really hoping that the game behaves itself now um, and uh, I'm just moving forward as I say fairly tentatively making sure that everything sort of runs smoothly and I don't get too many um, more problems but anyway getting back to what I'm doing today um, th this area, as I mentioned, is is obviously on the uh, on the other side of the river to what I've been doing bef before, and I want this area to be a kind of transitional sort of zone. So it's not really an, an industrial area. It's not really a kind of residential or commercial area. It's a bit of everything, and a lot of it is actually just empty, empty space. Um, because I imagine that maybe in the past there this may have been a more of a kind of industrial area of warehouses and factories and things 
but over the years that is now um, they've now shut and been sort of demolished and so forth so there's now big areas that are just left over for sort of semi parkland and also car parks and things like that and you'll see that later on when I start on the area just to the to the inland from here because this is obviously right next to the river um, and the area by the river here is is mainly going to be taken up with a kind of shipyard stroke marina area so there'll be yachts and things which I'll be building in a minute and that area is something that I wanted to do particularly on this side of the uh, the river um, I want quite a lot of harbors and and shipyards and things in the city and this is will be the kind of first one that I really do and it's a you know it's not a huge um, not a huge build this area um, but it is a little bit awkward because it's wedged in between the the approach road for the Fort Keen road bridge there and also obviously you're up against the water so it seems sensible to make a little kind of uh, shipyard marina here uh, this area then is serves as some kind of you know use then otherwise it's just going to be uh, the usual factories and warehouses warehouses and things which I'd kind of done a lot of so I didn't really want to do that I wanted to do something a bit different um, it's always good to challenge yourself as well with these sort of builds so um, I, th I don't think I've ever built a shipyard before so this was a, a bit of a, a sort of uh, learning curve for me doing this now what I tend to do with the um, kind of harbory areas is lay down a, um, a network wall here first of all just to get the the kind of quayside and then I'll put the ploppable pavement or ploppable asphalt up against that. So doing it in a slightly more laborious way, I guess, than than if I just did it with normal kind of harbour keys and things. I could be using those. I have got them. But at this stage, this is kind of working for me quite nicely. The other thing I had to do, because the ground, the terrain does kind of glitch a bit, is put these sort of terraforming networks in which are fantastic just for getting more control over your terrain particularly when you've got harbour walls and things because the, the the land does tend to kind of do stuff you don't want it to do when you're building stuff like this so these are the just the sort of ploppable pavement sections which again are converting the PO and then modifying them just stretching them and trying to get them up into position as best I can uh, it's always a bit fiddly doing this sort of work but um, I think the uh, the way it works generally it seems to be it seems to you know it seems to work the other thing that I realized as I was doing this was there was no way of getting ships and yachts and things out of the water and onto the land so what I then decided to do is put down a little ramp a little boat ramp here uh, and this is just a kind of underpass for a freeway I think which is again I've just converted that in PO and just move that in position and so forth but also I've made a little dock like a tiny little dock area which again you'll see me do in a minute and that I felt that probably would need something like a little crane or something just to lift uh, boats and things out of the water probably easier than trying to get them up the the boat ramp there so I end up then editing the uh, the network walls there just to get this uh, this little dock in so this is the thing often you start doing these builds and then you have to go back and start editing them because you've even forgotten to do something or You've seen the detail. I mean, this was just something I saw on Google Maps. I thought it would look quite good just to copy something like this, a little kind of dock inlet there. Uh, but obviously, it means you have to then start editing what you've built. So you can't be too sort of precious with with what you're building. You have to be open to um, you know editing it and and changing it if you need to. So a little bit more, I guess, about this area. Um, I didn't want to make this area too kind of pretty I guess you'd say um, there's a lot of new Falmouth that will be quite picturesque in fact I want the old harbour to be a particularly interesting area and a particularly kind of um, 
photogenic, let's say, photogenic area. But this area isn't. This is still very much a working part of the, the city, whereas the old harbour and the old town will be pretty much dedicated to to tourists and to leisure and culture and everything else. This this isn't. This is very much a kind of working area of town. But it's also, as I say, this kind of transitional area. Um, and I think uh, you get these areas in cities that are just sort of fairly nondescript you don't really notice them but in this game they're important because they can often emphasize other areas particularly if you've got a downtown or an old town you need these sort of filler areas around them just so that you don't end up with something that's just on its own almost um, and I guess that's the thing if I start with started with the downtown and just built a load of skyscrapers in the middle of you know the map then um, it can look a bit strange and also I find that I want to be I want to keep motivated so if I know I've got that to come and doing these sort of builds actually motivates me to move onwards to carry on with the city because I know I've got a lot more interesting stuff to build so I do tend to do a quite a lot of this kind of I call it filler filler building and it pads the city out you know it extends the city it makes it look bigger um, and also then it can offset your your more picturesque areas better um, and I guess <coughs> that's just um, just the way I like to work really I'd rather keep the good stuff and hold that back a little bit um, rather than just <coughs> you know start with that uh, which probably is why I often start in these kind of nondescript areas first of all but saying that this area is going to be bordering the the old town itself so the old town will be probably the next episode i should imagine or, or the start of the old town will be the next episode um, and that will be immediately to the left of this this screen here you see these sort of car parks that i'm putting down and i imagine these areas were once maybe warehouses and things like that which have been obviously demolished over the years as as manufacturing and so forth gives way to you know other kind of forms of um, economical forces require that often these old factories disappear um, and you get areas that are just left over for for weeds and for you know car parks and stuff like that so this is a kind of car park stroke park although i wouldn't really call it a park as such because as i say it's more just a kind of waste ground area which is been been chained or has been um taken back by nature so you've just got grass and shrubs and trees and then you've got these car parks in the middle of it so it's, it's a very much a kind of bland looking area that, that, that that's really what i'm trying to say it's the sort of area you wouldn't notice if you're driving through the city you know but in this game you do notice it because there it is sort of thing um which sounds a bit peculiar but um anyway I, I quite like to do these sort of builds um that's just me i just quite like to do this sort of nondescript places because i quite enjoy often how they come out what i am doing is some street signs here using po just to um just add all those sort of uh, names in i'm not going to be doing that for everything but it's certain key junctions and possibly little screenshots and things that i've got coming up i can then have those signs uh visible um, but i'm not going to be doing that for everything uh, this would drive me around the bend if i was doing po signs everywhere just do not have the patience to do that but certain details like those lines i am putting down i think it just helps and those some junctions which are more prominent and more visible so if you can spend a bit more time doing those then um often it's it's worth you know worth the extra effort uh this building here is actually a school um i believe uh but i kind of thought it looked like a sort of civic building of some kind maybe a governmental office or a library or something like that it's a kind of nondescript sort of building but it's, it's just something i thought i'd just plonk in with a lot of these um assets i do end up putting lots of decals and extra details in just to try to sort of bed it down better in the city i just think you can often um, visually kind of 
get it working better for certainly for for my needs by putting these little details and things in um, <clears throat> and this sign here which is a uh, again another po'd sign I just wanted a kind of uh, like a sign for the car park um, so this is me just adding this in here but uh, yeah so well, I can say anything else about this area but um, no, I just, uh, I'm just glad I got this episode out to be honest I haven't really planned what I'm going to say today because um, I'm just kind of relieved that I've got the city running um, even if if I've only got half the mods at this stage operating correctly at least it is it is running and it is working so um, and it's loading multiple times it's loading whereas before I couldn't load it at all so I'm just I'm just glad I've got it I've got it back and I can show you guys you know how it develops because as I say I've got big plans for this city um, I think probably in the next few episodes might be a little bit more dramatic changes let's say for the for new Falmouth I think it's going to look a bit more like a proper city rather than just an industrial estate which is kind of what my cities often look like <laughs> big industrial estates but this one I'm really hoping I'm going to uh, next episode certainly going to be working on the old town I'm going to actually get some some buildings and things in Yeah, so anyway guys, um, this apologies for the slightly um, rambling nature of today's episode, but as, you, as I say, I'm, I'm more relieved that I've still got the city, to be honest with you, uh, rather than me kind of planning out what I'm going to say, which, as you can tell, I haven't. So I'm going to say cheerio for now. I'm going to leave you with... Uh, I'm going to leave you with um, some cinematics. So... Uh, enjoy those you the cinematics will help explain all these different areas and how they kind of relate to one another i think um it'll kind of make a little bit more sense then so uh, until next time do subscribe if you haven't already subbed to the channel and please like the video because that really does help tremendously um really trying to grow the channel so that would be fantastic so until next time guys i shall bid you farewell uh, episode 8 will be dropping probably maybe a week or so. That's as the city behaves itself, of course, which I hope it will. And uh, until then, I shall see you next time. Cheers, guys. <laughs>